Brad here from Rock the Piano. The piece I'm going to play is Beethoven's Eighth Piano Sonata, the Pathétique. Pathétique translates into tragic, and I think the first movement of the sonata is supposed to tell a tragic story. Beethoven wrote what's called absolute music, so symphonies, sonatas, concertos, where you don't need to set the story of the music to a scene or have words. It's, it's just the tunes on the moan, their own are enough to follow. But Beethoven was a storyteller in the sense that he could start off with one idea and the idea had a friend. And that, that friend might be like the, the main character or the main theme. But later it transforms into the anti-character and his enemy. Or maybe they join forces. A lot of his symphonies really show that. I think people like this particular piano sonata because it shows the young man, or almost young boy version of Beethoven before he became uh, the serious symphonic composer. And it also shows his love of nature and his imagination. As I said, there are three movements. The first movement is very dark. I think the opening chord, boom, says some bad stuff is about to happen. I think this happens during a winter storm. So when I play it, I want to envision maybe a thriller or a heist or maybe a kidnapping. Some, some bad stuff is happening and there are, there are good people trying to get the bad guys. So maybe the bad guy wins, maybe, maybe the bad guy, maybe it's complicated. When you play these things, you have to imagine drawing yourself into the universe yourself. I think the second movement displays Beethoven's love of nature the most. I think it shows the calm after the storm. So after the snowstorm is over, you wake up in the morning and there's gently falling snow in a valley or a farmhouse. Maybe there's a little bit of a pond or a, a, you know, a meadow, <laughs> nature-y stuff, <laughs> but it's beautiful. And he sets a, a landscape painting. The third movement is a rondo, and I think he's telling the story of the children of the town playing after the storm as well. So maybe there's a school day, maybe everybody's at home, and they're running around in the snow, building forts, throwing balls. The main character at the beginning might be, uh, maybe it's himself, maybe it's his friend. A rondo has theme A, and then it has theme B. So maybe our main character goes and does something else. Then theme A happens again. Then theme C, and then theme A, and so it goes, on and on and on and then and then there are a bunch of different things happen to our, our characters you can really hear at the end that everybody's getting called home and their mums are telling them come inside the doors are closing and the lights are going out there's a sense of completeness each movement works with each other the first one is intense and dramatic the next one is very gentle and peaceful the third one is fun this is one of my favorite pieces of all time I've been hoping to play it since I was a teenager and now that I can play it, I hope to be able to play it for you. Enjoy!